coming back out. Just in case. Don't come. by suspended explosion pendant. Yes, Prince Wiza. Now for the rest of you, as punishment for your atrocious behavior, the winter formal is officially cancelled. Prince Wiza, you can't. Make it out we're going to you should have done that before you started drawing food, young lady. Now everyone I have an explosion request to find. Get back to your class before I put you all under in school suspension for the rest of the year. You all quickly pack up your things and secure silently just for the period. I like that it, it will play automatically if I hit that little button on the bottom right. The next two classes each drag on for like a week. Finally, the bell rings and it's time for the last time for the last class of the day. Jim, fuck. That's what I have to your entrance on your way there. You see, Caleb wipe down table. That won't be funny. Caleb smiles and blows a kiss back at you. You just want to tap on the shoulder to turn around to see Autumn. Gary, get to class. Yes, Autumn. I can't do voices. I'm trying to speak louder, but I can't do voices. <sighs> you slink off to the gym and take a seat toward the back. Everyone around you gossips in hushed voices about the food fight. The room goes silent when Coach Ethan comes in and pushes in a cart with a TV on it. Hey, everyone. I got a special treat. It's moving in gym class, and that's my favorite. Space Jam! Half class grows, half class, but Coach Ida doesn't seem to notice either side as he starts the movie. A few minutes in, he's so transfixed that he doesn't notice anyone talking. In the back, a group of kids start playing on the phones. This is ridiculous. You might want to wander back to Caleb in the cafeteria. Hey, Coach Ida? Coach Ida? Can I go to the bathroom? Uh, yeah, here. He's on to his pass without ever taking his eyes off the screen. I bet I could sneak over to help Caleb. But how Coach Ethan even notice him? Later, Caleb and the cafeteria will give, him ch give you a chance to hear his side of the story and spend time with, with, time with him. And don't worry, Coach Ethan won't mind. Hey, Coach Ethan, I need to go to the bathroom too. No problem, just don't, just don't make me miss the best part. You make it to the cafeteria without encountering a hall monitor. Caleb looks up when he notices your presence. Hey. Hey, Gary, what are you doing here? We were watching Space Channel class, in gym class. I got a hall pass so I can come up you. Well, why would you want to help me? You know what, spice it up. Guess I care about you a lot. You really shouldn't. I just brought and screwed over everyone at, so everyone at this school in some way or another. Not everyone. Okay, maybe not directly, but I know the hall model program was bad news. I did nothing until I just got so angry. If you knew, why didn't you do something? I guess because I didn't even want to admit it. I think I want to like Isa more than anyone else in the school. He always been a good person. He wants to see the best in people. That's not the only reason. When Coach Burke quit like that, it was the second time my team had been torn apart by a love affair. It was when Burke went like Brian, is that we? I know, but after the team had been through so much, I just wanted stability. That's why Isa wanted order. But she said I... Oh, she's, uh, oh, she's, she said, I did too. It was like that after she hired her own brother. Well, it was not the first time I've been wrong by someone. I suppose there are worse things to be an optimist than to be an optimist. I saw it getting the bad feeling that the agent was suspended. But I knew if I backed out, I'd be a huge target for the others. Cause I never thought of it that way. That's because you're not, uh, that's because you're better than me. You're not a coward. You're trying to protect yourself. 
and look what got me. He just got me a spell that everyone hates me. Okay, look, that's not true. I don't hate you. You're right. You probably should. I sort of hate me right now. Then maybe it's time for a change. Okay, looks fine. The food cup is kept to you. It takes a little late for that. It's never too late. You reach out and put your hand on the kill shoulder. I promise. I'll be by your side no matter how hard it goes. I guess. Keep carrying. And we ain't going that far, not spicing up that much. You wrap your arms around Caleb and squeeze him tightly. She pulls away and takes the bag, you ask nice stuff in a bottle of soup. Do you look down your feet and laugh? Okay, did you have the sign? It's time to get back to cleaning. You really don't have to do this, it's my job. Since when did that ever stop me? Because sponge and such scrub, by the time the battle brings you and Caleb have made decent progress. I told you he'd be already. I told, I told you he'd be already. I ain't always right. You can't look up from your cleaning and see Michael and Maria are standing there along with Emma, Aiden, Louis, Myra, and Sydney. What are you all doing here? I think you're here to help out. You got it. We were looking for you too, Gary. We couldn't find you. Michael said you must already be here. This is really, really nice of you guys. But you should probably go. If he's a catch you here, you're all going to be in trouble. No need to worry about that. Go on, Wes, on the other side of the school, grant is distraction. What you is that? Come volunteer them. I know most of you weren't that close to her, but it seems like she has a lot of respect for Gary. It's all too much. I don't serve any help from I don't serve for any of you at the way I act it. It's not about deserving. Yeah, if we turn our backs on our friends and since they did something we didn't like, we wouldn't have friends at all. It's not like you did anything as bad as I did. Maybe but perhaps if I hadn't got had got like, so caught up in the fighting, they sort of gone differently. And if Michael and I got more involved, and if I can let you use me as an example. And if, look, we can go all, we go around all day talking about this, but the way I see it, it's not any of our, our faults, it's Isa's. So I will be start to stop this crap and start cleaning, start cleaning. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess up starting now. Well, if you resist, everyone picks up supplies from the cleaning cart and gets to work. Dip on your mouth. But in the next couple of hours, everyone scrubs, sweeps, and polishes every last inch of the cafeteria. Wait, oh, yeah. could you pass me the detergent? Of course. By the way, Louis, I was so late. Fuck me. Of course. By the way, Louis, I was up so late Saturday playing that Zelda game you got me. I just want to take out the garden already. Welcome to the game of life. I don't know whether to thank you or hate you. Hate him. I wish I mop like that, Caleb. The big freshman football players rotate clean in the locker room. You don't want to know the kind of messes I've seen in there. Like, jizz. I'm kidding. Like, jazz. Finally, none of you managed to get the entire after you clean. Well, I'll be damned. Alright, it's such a user. That's my brother, Barbara. Alright. I don't know. She's still there. I don't know. She's still there getting free some, some free labor out of us. Maybe, but she can't make it take care of, then it calls for a group hug. Yes! Several friends put their arms around each other, forming a giant huddle. You look up and see Michael lock, looking on, smirking. Come on, Michael, you know you want to join in. Michael rolls his eyes at you. If you insist. Michael's joints hug. You all stay in the hug for a few moments before. Um, guys, I'm getting smushed. You like how a group dissolves. Hey guys, I have something to tell you. Thank you, Matt. Wait, what? Emma, what are you talking about? I think I know. Emma, are you sure about this? Yes, I wasn't before, but I guess you know help each other like this? I think it'll be okay. So you know how we can do any activities this quarter? And get not being able to hang out? Yeah? So look at the team has been missing you. Well, mine's been tight for my mom. And I, and I. Wait, really tight. After my dad left, it's meant for my mom to pay the mortgage on the house. We were scared of getting foreclosed. We were working at Admiral Burger across town to help make ends meet. Wait, that's it? What do you mean that's it? Emma, you could have told us. No one here would judge you. See, my son will be okay. He did, and now I know for sure. I guess I was just so happy to find some friends. I don't want to say anything in case I ruined it. What kind of friends would we be if we do you about for having money problems? I don't know. I just want to risk it. Besides, even if you didn't ditch me, I'm scared you might think you made different and it would be awkward. 
But now I know it wouldn't be, and I'm not so scared anymore, because I know we'll be together no matter what. How am I? Everyone just has ever fucked before. Again. Seriously. Just go with it, Michael. It's that kind of day. Michael goes to Jordan in a few more moments, you all pull away. Hey, for real? You're like the best friends a guy could ask for. Just promise me we'll keep in touch after I'm spelled, okay? Did you make it easier if they meant it? This is easy for talking about. She definitely did. It's something I said to her. You won't be. Not backing up it. Michael, that's nice of you, but no, you can't don't understand. We can stop it. What are you talking about? Michael and Maria look at each other. It's kind of a long story. Yeah. Michael and Maria tell us everything. Okay, if it's that important to you. <sighs> it all started about six weeks ago. When we first found out Isa was taking over and Maria had to resign as class president. We were walking back from filming the second and last of Maria's morning announcement when I grabbed Maria's arm and pulled into the girls' bathroom. Michael Harrison, let me go. Let go of me this instant. Sorry, look, didn't mean to startle you. Then why the hell did you drag me into the girls' bathroom? Easy, no need to swear. This is the one place on campus where it's seriously not easy to have cameras set up. Cameras? Look, I don't know how that footage got into yesterday's podcast, but I know it wasn't your fault and it wasn't mine. And don't you think this has worked out a little too well for Isa? Come on, Ria. Don't tell me you haven't noticed it, too. Maybe I have, but we don't have any proof. Not yet, but we can find some. If you're in, I'm in. Why should I trust you? You don't like me, Michael. We've never seen our guy. I know. I know what it's like to feel powerless against the system, but it sucks. Besides, I know a thing or two about taking down Dorothy. You're right. I hate to admit it, but you're right. But just so you know, I refuse to commit any felonies as part of this. Mike and I kept tabs on Prince Breeze over the next few weeks, but they didn't come up with much of anything until after, until the winter carnival. Okay, it was obvious that she looked for an excuse to shut the carnival down. She spent five minutes looking at the hot chocolate heater. Do you have anything? Whenever anyone gets too close, she puts her phone away. I, I don't know what's on her, but I'm certain she's hiding something. So in a moment, Maria, I'll get it. If you can create a distraction. What do you want me to do? Surprise me. Well, if you're sure about this. <laughs> you all asked the Santa say to grab the her? Look, I know it's a little strange, but that's hilarious. I love it. Go on, Isra. Ooh, Isra. Principal Isa, your face looks like the Mona Lisa. <laughs> What's going on? You make me happier than eating pizza. Love a student, love a student named Maria. Why did you stop her? Michael. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> You're better than eating pizza. Love a student named Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Principal Isa, this is like Mona Lisa. Make me happy when eating pizza. Love us to the name of Isa. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I already did this one before. Oh my god. I did this one before. <laughs> uh, uh, it's so funny. Yeah, oh my god. Principal Isa. <laughs> oh my god. Principal Isa. Love you. Uh, me, uh. Principal Isa. Make me happy than eating pizza. I just forgot everything. Principal Isa. Your face looks like a Mona Lisa. Make me happy than eating pizza. Love us to the name of me. Yeah. Principal Isa, is that your phone? Where'd you get that? I heard it ring in and recognized the case. I must have to touch it back. She had to bring your phone, taped it up, and then out of sight. Sorry, I only, sorry, I only, ah, sorry, I only had a few seconds to look before she got a call. It did have much on it. Not even space, face space. Is she using as a 60 second phone to contact someone specific? Like they do in spy movies? Exactly. I sort of wish I picked it up, but it would have been way too easy to get caught. I did get a password though. It was 
one three five seven. Hey guys, what are you pushing about? Oh, nothing. I was about to go show my luck at the dunk tank. Catch you guys later. Okay, bye, Michael. What about you, Maria? I'm just about to take this. Turn right up. Is that meant to you, Gary? I hope Papa run away on you like that. But I spent most of the rest. But I spent most of the rest of the. But I spent most of the rest of the carnival trying to track down the phone again. No luck. That sentence was trippy. And then, after we found out Aiden was suspended, they started to get desperate. They wanted to come forward with a bit like the phone, but it wasn't enough. Still risky. Do you want to get suspended like Aiden? I'm right to shake this up. You can't just keep hiding now. Because one person's already been suspended. What are you going to tell people? Is this use a secret phone, therefore she's doing something? Come on, you know it's bad, something bad. Yeah, but until we know what, there's no use. You have any guesses? He's a lot of money. A lot of money? You mean like from... Uh-huh. Why would you be involved in that? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. I didn't know this was gonna be so serious. I, I didn't either. I used to win. More than ever. Me too. Maybe I was so upset, so I gave her a hug. And of course, that was the moment when you... Thanks, Michael. I'm glad to have you around. Yeah, I imagine it. That whole moment was awkward. We spent the next few weeks looking for the phone, but we didn't see it after the carnival. Finally, on the night of the basketball game, she left the purse unattended for a minute to call out to her brother. That's my chance. Hang on, you had the phone last time. It's my turn. Alright, go ahead. The phone was in the bag, but I didn't manage to swipe. I went quickly back to my seat to show Michael. I mean, are you crazy? It's gonna know what happened as soon as she can't get into your office. She would if, it was, if this was her office key, but it's not. It belonged to Principal Hughes. How do you know? I, felt, I found it used a regular key ring as well. This was on it. I should probably save Hughes for backup. And as far as I know, it belonged to Hughes. I would have, as, as far as how I knew it belonged to Principal Hughes, who else would have a heart shaped key labeled office? You're good, Maria. And with the hard monitors, I'm not sure how we're gonna break in or get getting caught. Maybe now it's time to tell everyone. What we think was if we. And of course, that was the moment you. moment where you called out from behind us, Gary. Sorry for interrupting. And that brings us back to today. Wow, you didn't pull us while we're working together? No, Gary, for the hundredth time, we aren't dating. Yeah, no offense, but you're not my type. Not taking, not mine either. Glad we had this conversation. <laughs> For the hundredth time, we are not dating. Maria, Maria, no offense, but you're not my type. You're not mine either. Glad we had this conversation. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Gary, Gary's still gonna be like, Mmm, tension. <laughs> tension. Amity's to lovers, partners in crime, in more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he's hitting on both of them, he's like, mm-hmm. interesting. I'll, I'll discuss this with Myra. Myra, what do you think? Oh, I think they're totally dating. Mm-hmm. This is keeping it on the rocks. Uh-huh. No, oh, I don't. I don't even like you like that. Ma, I hate. She, mm, says, hey, really mean I like you, right, like, I like, like you, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and we just turned back to the group smiling, and they're like, ugh. <sighs> and to, to, both back home over here, just like, we're, we're not getting, getting over this, are we? Like, mm-mm, mm-mm, wait, we ain't never getting out of this, are huh? Like, no. Not until you can this, ah, no. Not it. If the sound was all over the place, I am sorry. So we found out all this but stuff about Principal Isa. Right now, she wants to see, still wants me to spell it. If your case is like any other in this country, Caleb, you're not going to have an explosion here until next month. If we can prove before the end that it is a struggle. The Caleb, why won't be spelled? One problem though, I'm still not sure how we're going to break in. 
I'm praising what you did, Captain Us. Can we just sneak in during the middle of the night? There's an alarm system active from midnight to 5 a.m. to too risky. At least some other time when Ease won't be there. Why big school board meeting that all the ed educators in the district have to attend? Is someone coming up? And sadly, my mom was just complaining about it this morning. Saturday morning, 7 a.m. sharp, around the parking lot. Saturday morning. We drive up to the school where most of the group is already waiting. Morning, Gary. You feeling better? Yes, I know. I feel a whole lot better if I can convince them not to spell me. Not if, when. When you're gonna convince them not to spell you. I'm trying not to get my hopes up. But after today, you won't have to. Okay, seven, seven o'clock, let's go in. Hang on, we'll with two people. Here we are. Just in a beat up truck, pulls into the parking lot. I wasn't told to get out. What's up? Is it helping? You bet we are. Your Michael may have been able to break into her last while, but going out of real masters. Alright, alright, let's get in there. Oh, hang on. Well, you can't all just barge in. The hall monitors will catch us. The hall monitors? Which puts a few cars scattered across the parking lot. That's Armscar, and that's Frank's, and that one's Morgan's. What are the hall monitors doing here on a Saturday? Right there, you should watch out the kids on Saturday detention. He's just trying to get people to get you to do that. What are we gonna do? Saturday the 10th? Tell you what, he's his office on the first floor. I'll come by myself, you pass the hall monitors, and walk the window. Are you sure? It's only catching you, you're being in trouble. Huge trouble. Does anyone have any better idea? No one says a word. Thank you, Gary. Here, take the screen. I put a window. I would have in a few minutes, promise. I went in the door to the school and started slowly walking down the hallway, making sure you can first stop making any noise. So far, so good. I would turn the corner, head toward the office, and hear someone coming. So I ran in the closet, quickly hide inside. I move around in the closet and drive onto something made of heavy fabric. She will eyes just to the light, because of the gender's uniform. So I want to put some glasses in the pocket. When the uniform will allow you to you just need to pass the hall monitors without being recognized, providing you an advance in this chapter in the next one. Perfect. Anyway, I'm going to go to the green closet and casually walk down the whole hallway towards Ethan's office. Walk it. Hold up. Who are you and what are you doing here? Morgan. Catch yourself. And all oh, your voice disguise. I mean, uh, you must be Morgan. Morgan's quiz at you. How did you know my name? Oh, you just told me all about you. Is it? What'd she say? Ha. I used to hate teachers, but for now, I admit it's useful. Morgan starts pacing around the hallway, not looking at you too. Not looking at you too closely. <laughs> You've got to tell. I tell students she'll look, she'll look the other way when I skip class. I don't think we to do that. Hey, it's easy when you got a own home on it. We're taught to school. You think you're the only one? I don't think I know. I'm too timid. She's more scared of the others than you have her. In fact, she's just too much of a snotty. Get one. Wasn't bad until we went on a psycho and just played that either. But I'm getting you. But you, but you knew about that, right? I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, sure. Morgan turns around and looks at you again. What's your name? I'm kidding. Harry. Ha, huh, well Harry is. I know I ever told you that you look like a guy at the school named Gary. Yeah, I've heard that before. You got the same haircut anyway. So this is your face and squints. I was like, just take off the glasses and... Which really last but you saw her man before she can take them off. Hey, I need these. Oh yeah? What for? Put my eye put my uh yeah. Got a black eye. Black eye. Oh yeah, it's blue shining. Got in the other night. It's gotta show me. No way, eat disorders. But, nah, if you excuse me, I need to get back to work. Heh, <laughs> Brian, I'll see you around, Harry. Yeah, alright.
Olga finds the way. Once she's sure she's gone, you can quickly make your way to to the door to eat his office's locket. You step inside the dark office and open out the window to let your friend inside. Can someone get the lights? On it. Lights pick on, and the eleven of you look around the office. We should get the janitor's office, Gary. Found it in the broom closet. What were you doing in the broom closet? Never mind, don't answer that. No, so now what? What do you, you think we're doing? I mean, what do you think I was doing? Now, research. And now the chapter ends. Mm-hmm. Looks like a high school story, you and your friends search with clues on people with Isa. But will it be enough to figure out the truth? Bam, 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 bam.